lovelies. Welcome back to another episode of What You Eatin'. Today I'm continuing our spooky Saturday Halloween themed month of October with a kit that I found. Bum, ba, da, bum. It is a cookie house that I found at Michael's. It includes the cookies, the frosting, and the decorations. So let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you how I did it. Cut the tip off your piping bag about an inch down and then insert the piping tip inside the bag and push it all the way to the end until it's nice and secure. To fill the bag, turn the bag inside out and stretch it over a glass. Then cut the corner off the bag of icing and carefully squirt the icing into the piping bag. Carefully twist the end of the piping bag, pushing all the icing into the tip and then secure with a rubber band. To begin the assembly of the house, have some cans on hand to help you prop up the sides of the house. Start with one of the end pieces and pipe plenty of frosting on the sides. Then add one of the side pieces. It's important that the house have a lot of structural integrity, otherwise it won't hold any of the candies, so I really recommend reinforcing the corners with lots of frosting. Then add the other side and let this whole thing set up for at least an hour before adding the roof. While waiting for your house to set up, you can prepare your fondant ghosts. Dust your surface and your rolling pin with some powdered sugar so the fondant doesn't stick and just roll out into a really thin sheet about the thickness of a coin. Then cut out any shape you want. I just cut out some ghosts. I included a cat and a pumpkin as well, but feel free to do whatever you like. For some detail, I added some melted chocolate for my cat and added some frosting to my pumpkins. Set these aside and let them dry for at least an hour or two or until they're nice and firm. Okay, now that the base has set for about an hour, you can go ahead and add your roof and again, just add plenty of icing and stick the pieces on top. For final bit of insurance, I just added a big fat bead of frosting on top to make sure everything stuck together. For the roof detailing, I used a little bit more of melted chocolate and just did a kind of scalloped edge on top. Use the icing to hide any raw edges and also to secure it to the cardboard base. After the house has had about an hour or so to set up, you can go ahead and start the fun part, which is adding all the candy details. Dun, da, da, dun. And here's the finished house. And it came out pretty well, I think. I don't know if that's the front or that's the front. I, I kind of made two doors. <laughs> the things that I liked about this kit were that the house was pretty easy to put together. The pieces of cookies fit really well together. I like that pretty much it contains everything that you need. Things I didn't like so much is um, it only came with orange icing, so I ended up melting some chocolate that I had and using a squeeze bag. You could use a plastic bag if you like. For me, Halloween is black and orange and it needed some more dark contrast. If you're interested in making a, a gingerbread house from scratch, I have a gingerbread recipe. I'll put it in the link down below and it includes everything you need, including the template on how to make your own gingerbread house from scratch. I'd love to see pictures. Post them on Facebook or on Twitter or on Instagram. I'd love to see them. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Happy Halloween! Each bottle contains 70 lemons worth of vitamin C. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore.